Dad, I read that satellites use synthetic aperture radar to see through clouds and darkness. How does that even work? That's SR, Steve. A radar system that creates high-resolution images by combining motion and signal processing, not just antenna size. But I thought better images needed bigger antennas. Normally, yes. The resolution of a radar is tied to its antenna size. But SAR gets around this by simulating a large antenna using a small one, by moving it. Simulating an antenna with motion? Exactly. As the satellite or aircraft moves, it sends radar pulses toward the ground and records the returning echoes. Then, using signal processing, it stitches those reflections together like a panorama, forming a synthetic aperture. So it's kind of like building a big antenna over time? That's the idea. The longer the radar travels while collecting data, the bigger the effective aperture, and the sharper the final image. What makes SAR different from normal radar? SAR measures not just return intensity, but also phase, tiny shifts in wave timing, to build super detailed images. And since radar uses microwaves, it can see through clouds, smoke, and even at night. So it's not optical at all? Nope. SAR doesn't rely on sunlight. That's why it's used in military surveillance, earthquake deformation tracking, flood mapping, and even glacier movement studies. Wild, it's like 3D vision with radio waves. Exactly! SAR turns physics, motion, and math into one of the most versatile imaging systems on the planet.